Hi guys, it's Ben here with my preview of Liverpool versus Everton, the Merseyside derby that's going to take place tomorrow. Before I get started, I just want to shout out these t-shirts. It's a Superman A t-shirt. It's from Love Full of Conquer, and I'll put the link in the description. Make sure you go and check it out. Now, Liverpool versus Everton, obviously the implications of this are pretty big. We can we can get to two points a game, we can go into third place, we can leapfrog Chelsea. It's it's you know, game against our bitter rivals at home. Um, but nerves are not really there at the moment. I think that the way we're playing, uh, the goals we're scoring, the, the free-flowing movement, we've got an attack. I've got no reason to be concerned. Obviously, Everton and the Sam Allardyce are going to pose a very different threat to what they did under Koeman. Um, I think the way they set up with Koeman was very naive last year at Anfield. Um, I think 3-1 probably flattered them. Uh, and we're a lot better now. Um, and I don't think they're any better. In fact, I think, I think they're a lot worse than they were. Obviously, the threat of Lukaku is no longer there. Um, they have got some good players. You know, Sigurdsson, I rate. Obviously, Wayne Rooney has got a decent record at Anfield. So, there's enough talent in that squad to cause us some problems. But I don't think they're going to be setting up to cause us any sort of problems. I think it's, it's going to be 4-5-1. And very much a, a, a bank of four and a bank of five. Um, Big Sam... <laughs> You know what you're going to get with him. What, what, what can you say about Big Sam? He's, he's not going to come here and play football. It's going to be try and stay in the game for 60 minutes and then take it from there. Um, so for us, it's all about the early goal, whether we can get it. Um, obviously, the concern the other day came when Philip Coutinho didn't train. Still really haven't heard whether whether he's got a knock or whether it's uh, he just got an extra day's rest. Hopefully the latter. Um, you, you know, I understand we want to rotate as well, but... This doesn't feel like the game we should be rotating. This is a game I want to, I want to go out there and give them another 4-0. I want to go out there and give them another embarrassing defeat. Um, something we've done a few times at home over the last few seasons. Obviously the 13-14 4-0, uh, the 15-16 4-0, last season's 3-1, the 1-0 the, the at Goodison last year. We, our record against them is pretty great. Obviously we, we've drawn them in the cup as well, so psychologically you know, I want to put, put, put a good beat in uh, against them here and then go into the derby in the FA Cup with, with, this, with the same mentality. Um, starting 11 wise, uh, we've got some good options, some players coming back, uh, de defensively in particular, you know, it was looking very bleak last week at Brighton, we managed to get through it, but uh, thankfully we can have a more orthodox back four this time with Mignolet in goal, and then I imagine Joe Gomez are coming at right back now that Lovren and Clavin are both available. Um, left back obviously, Moreno out, so... I would go with the experience of James Milner. I think he did himself no harm in midweek with those three assists, that wonderful cross for Manny's goal. I like Andy Robertson and I'm looking forward to seeing him getting some minutes. I think he might play against West Brom. Um, but right now I think Milner, you know, I, th I think it makes sense. In midfield it's tough because I think he'll want to get Jordan Henderson in his team. I, I think at the moment we are better without Jordan Henderson. I think Emery Chan, Jorginho Van Alderman and Philip Coutinho is the best midfield three. But I think he might rest Chan for this one. I think he might go Henderson, Van Alderman, Coutinho. And then obviously Mane, Salah, Firmino, um, which is uh, you know perfectly capable of, of putting three or four past Everton and ha having having the usual fun with them. Um, I'm just praying for that. Really, we can go into third place. It's been a really good few weeks. The results have been great. The performances have been even better. And you know, we'll see what happens in the Manchester derby. And uh, Chelsea have dropped points today. Spurs have won. Um, Arsenal got a tricky game at Southampton, and they got a couple of injuries. So, look, we, 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 we can kind of pull away, secure ourselves in top four, we can go up to third. And look, if, if something happens in a Manchester derby, you know, if, if it's a draw there, then, you know, we're suddenly closing down on United and, and City. Yes, they're kind of out of touch, but it's not such a monumental gap. It's, it's, it was 14 points coming into this week, so, you know, they're, they're pretty out of sight already. And, you know, we're not going to go 14 points better than them between now and the end of the season. But it's nice to stay kind of in touch. Um, so, look, we'll see where we are. But obviously, we've only got to focus on our game. And prediction-wise, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for a convincing win. I think Everton might score. But I'm, I'm going to go for 3-1. I'm going to go for the same score as last year. Um, Coutinho, Mane and Salah to score the goals. I'm confident. I'm excited. Uh, I'm not going to the game. Um, I will be going to the FA Cup, but I'm not going to this one. Uh, it looks like the, uh, the weather conditions aren't going to be great. There's even fears that the game might be called off because of the snow, but it looks like it will go ahead unless things get drastically worse tomorrow. I know there is going to be a quite a bad storm, uh, but hopefully, you know, there'll be a storm on the pitch as well, with Liverpool running riots and putting Everton to the sword once again, going up to third, keeping Everton in trouble down at the bottom of the table and uh, going into midweek against West Brom. 
full of confidence and really charging down the teams above us. That's got to be the target every single week now, closing the gap on those above us and we'll see where we are come the spring. Um, obviously Champions League draw on, on Monday as well, which is very exciting. Uh, a great time to be a Liverpool fan. Let's enjoy the game tomorrow. Please subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment with your score predictions and your predicted lineups. And follow my other socials too. It's Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you after the game up the Reds.